These are just some of the images from the latest round of protests at Michigan State Capitol where far-right militia groups, just regular Trump-supporting groups, have demanded that stay-at-home orders end. Um, fights began to break out, as you can see here, and there are multiple reports of these protesters once again being heavily armed. You can see some of that in the images. Of course, imagine if they were black or Muslim, but <laughs> the cops would not be treating them uh, the same way. Here is an image of a doll that is clearly meant to de de depict Governor Gretchen Whitmer, who has been the target of these attacks. The doll seems to have a noose around its neck, um, which is terrifying. She is obviously a Democrat. She responded to these disturbing threats of violence this morning on The View. You've become the target of vicious, violent private Facebook, Facebook groups that say you should be beaten and lynched. Some of those people plan to attend a rally uh, at the state capitol this Thursday. Are you at all fearful for your uh, personal safety? Well, I would be um, not truthful if I said it didn't bother me. It certainly does. I'm fortunate that the Michigan State Police is an incredibly talented professional organization that oversees um, the security of, of myself and my family, and I'm grateful for that. Governor Whitmer, uh, obviously one of the people who's more likely than not, I think, to be Joe Biden's VP pick. I have problems with her, her coziness with uh, pharmaceutical industries, but put the, all of that aside. I just put that as a caveat, not to say I'm some sort of like DNC cheerleader, as hopefully you guys know by now. I, I really feel for her. That I, some of this is extremely disturbing, and you can't say that it isn't partially motivated by sexism, the way that they're depicting her and going after her. It's just vile, and I feel for her and her family. And if you watch my coverage, you know that I'm trying to be fair to these protesters because the root cause of this is that our government has not provided people, small businesses and regular folks, with the necessary resources to weather this pandemic. Financial resources, healthcare resources, that's, those are the people who need to be faulted the most. They favored a corporate bailout of large industries and got handouts to them over universal basic income and just the resources necessary for people to get through this. Uh, that's where I think all of this starts, this vitriolic anger. But there is, there is some of what I said there before. There is real, vile hatred being directed at her. And I think that was depicted in these foreboding, terrifying protests today. Despite heavy rain, armed protesters gathered Thursday at the state capitol in Michigan in what the organizing group Michigan United for Liberty, a militia group, has branded Judgment Day. This was the third planned demonstration since Michigan has been under a stay-at-home order from Democratic Governor Gretchen Whitmer to slow the spread of the coronavirus. Ahead of Thursday's protest, comments were made in private Facebook groups threatening Governor Whitmer and lawmakers with violence, according to, the re to reporting by the Detroit Metro Times. Armed protesters brought signs that compared Governor Whitmer to Hitler, showing nooses and Confederate flags. Some signs read, tyrants get the rope. So my sympathy only extends so far. My empathy. They're white nationalists, terrorists with guns. There's nothing more to say about that, except this is this, I guess there is something more to say. This is what happens in disasters. Extremist movements get even more fire and, and more backing. And what's happening in Michigan is happening throughout the United States. The specific amount of vitriol directed at Whitmer, I think, is fairly unique, but it's a it's a warning sign for things to come. And I'm I'm scared for government officials like herself who are trying to do the right thing in this pandemic, and what's being stoked on the right. Far right terrorism is infinitely more of a threat than any other kind of terrorism in this country right now.